How's it? IndianCowboyDocSports.com coming at you on June 22nd on Tuesday as we get this video to you every day around this time. Have your free pick on a side today, not a total. Fickle, fickle totals. Fickle, fickle totals. That's what we get for giving you a total. But uh, we're going to do something different today. We're going to give you all of the, um, the, the free picks and leans on sides today. And some of them might be minus one and a halves and plus one and a halves and whatnot. But I think it's a lot better than totals. We're trying to make a a slight movement away from totals in general. Sometimes we'll do totals, but I think we're going to try to make a slight movement away from totals. If we have a better side, it's better to do that than a total sometimes, I think. so. But uh, not a great video yesterday. Uh, we didn't have a great video of free picks and leans, and we love giving you free pick winners. It means a lot to us. We've been doing it for 16 years now. Um, so, you know, we're coming at you this video pretty much every day for about 16 years, which is pretty awesome. Don't forget, $50 contest on Saturday, as always. Um, and uh, we'll guess the score contest then. But, um, yeah, hopefully we'll have a, a very strong day today. What do I need to tell you? Uh, in the NBA, we have a five-unit selection. We released it early yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Um, clients today are going to get a better line on it if you if you get it today. But, um, by the way, don't forget, anything 20 gives you 20% off uh, any package um, uh, related to IC uh, and anybody at Doc Sports until midnight tonight. So anything 20, that includes a season package too, so you can get a huge discount with the season packages as well. But, um, yeah, nice winner with Denmark yesterday, the four unit in soccer. Pleased with that. Um, NBA going for six in a row today. Six unit WNBA selection today. Back to back WNBA winners. I think we're going to get on a roll here in the WNBA. Playoffs have been going well. Um, winning seven of eight playoffs now, plus 1,200. Hopefully, we'll hit that NBA selection today. Baseball, we, we missed our top two plays yesterday and we hit our uh, selection on the Padres Stinks. We were six and one last week. But, uh, you know, we're 10 and 5 lately. Um, we're excited about the four unit selection today. I have a pretty good idea we're going to win that. And then get back on the run. That's what you do. You go up a, a good bit, you come down a little bit, and you try to go up a good bit again. So that's why we can't be afraid to do step outs when we have it. Um, because you don't know if that opportunity will present itself next time around. Because different things have to line up for that opportunity to present itself. So when you have it, you got to press it. Uh, NBA five unit selection today, 5 and 0 NBA run. Hockey plus 5,000 on the season. So far, so good. Two unit selection today between Montreal and Vegas as we're just kind of cruising here to the finish line to finish off a uh, um, you know a winning hockey season. We recently had Tampa Bay and they won 8 nothing, But 94 and 61 run in the hockey for plus 82, 40. Uh, as it relates to soccer, Croatia and Scotland today, 9 and 4 in the Euros for about plus 1470. Been a very good Euro, uh, Euros for us. Six unit WNBA today, back to back winners. MMA boxing, we'll have it on this Saturday as well. And then Korean baseball, still a winning season. We missed the play overnight, but a 9-5 and five run as well. All right, let's get your free play winner today. Again, we're trying to focus on all sides here. Your free play winner today, uh, we're going to go with, uh, we have a lot of games to choose from. Uh, we have a free play and a whole bunch of free picks here. But the free pick we're going to give it to you is on the cards today. Um, you know, the cards are 500 again, um, and they've only put up two zero four two one zero one nine and zero runs. That's really bad. Um, this team is struggling with scoring in general, and the Tigers took one of four from the Angels, and uh, but swept Kansas City a while back. Um, you know, Oviedo didn't give up a run to the Marlins to his credit. I think he's on the surge up. Um, he's a young Cardinals pitcher. It's interesting, right? A guy that's 0-2 is actually favored uh, in this ball game, which is which is very interesting. Um, the problem here is Scooball is, is, a, is a great pitcher. He's 3-0 with a 2.74 ERA lately. and uh, But he has given up 11 walks in four games, which is the same thing as a single. Um, and then he also gives up a hit per inning as well. So you're looking at somebody that, that could give up two hits, two base runners per inning, and even the Cardinals could get through with that. Uh, the Tigers' offense is slightly better, but it's not that great either. But uh, give me the better pitcher here in OU Beto. Uh, for his first big league win, the Cardinals didn't score a run yesterday. They probably put two base runners per, per inning on there. Uh, so I'll go with the cards as your free play winner today. Other leans today, I do think Philly probably wins today against Washington, against Scherzer. Always scared to go against Scherzer. He might be dealt on the deadline anyway. But Washington has won 6 of 7, and Philly just lost 2 to 11 to the Giants. So I think Philly has a good chance of bouncing back. Wheeler has been lights out. 18 strikeouts his last two games. Lost to Washington his last time out, so Wheeler has a revenge too. He's headed to the All-Star game for the Phillies. Scherzer won 2-1 to one last time out. Tough to go against a pitcher like Scherzer, but uh, Philly had won 13-6 to six the day before against the Giants, and the Giants walloped them 2-11, to 11, so it's not entirely their fault. I think Philly bounces back here. Braves and Mets like the Braves here. Morton was lights out on his last start against the Cardinals. 
We were on the Braves in that game for a step out. Stroman is a very good pitcher. But the thing here is that the Braves are starting to pick up a little bit of steam. And I think the Strom- I think Stroman beat the Braves last time too. So the Braves have a little bit of revenge. Hard to go against the Mets here after scoring zero runs their last game. But the Mets haven't been scoring a lot of runs either. And the Braves usually, being a Braves fan, um, they usually start picking up things around June, July and start making a run at it because the fan base starts getting a little ticked off. Like the Braves here, small lean on them. Like the Yankees run line today, these two teams haven't met since 2019. Uh, Royals actually took two of three from the Red Sox. Yankees know that. Uh, Singer has been very strong lately, but Yankees have never met, faced Singer, which is to Singer's advantage. But Brady's on a little bit of a bounce back as well. I get it. Uh, but he's only put together three of seven quality starts. Half the time he pitches, he doesn't put a quality start together. And you know who does put quality starts? Garrett Cole. And he's on the mound today. And uh, the whole gripping the ball thing and stuff like that, he knows the eyes are on him and the focus is on him. And he continues to pitch well, I think, with the focus on him. Astros and Orioles, and this is, again, we're not going with the total. We're just going to tell you, I kind of lean on the Orioles here, plus the one and a half. Astros won 10 to 2 last time, and Greinke has given up a home run in each of his last six games. So if you want to look for a prop, you can say Greinke gives up a home run, click yes, that might happen. Lopez has given up 10 runs in his last two games, and I know he's struggled lately, but I do think he bounces back today. He can't keep struggling. Uh, he needs to bounce back, and the Red Sox, he limited the Red Sox to one run a while back, so he does have good stuff. Orioles got beat 2-10 to 10 yesterday. I think they can bounce back here. Give me the Orioles plus the 1.5. Dallas and Connecticut, that is your six-unit selection in the WNBA today as we try to go for three straight winners. We won our WNBA selection last time as well. Four straight winning years in the WNBA. Hopefully we'll hit that. Chicago and New York in the WNBA. I like Chicago here. New York had 29 turnovers in their last game against LA, and they still won. Just crazy. Candace Parker is back for Chicago. They're playing well right now, winning five in a row or so. Ionescu, mind you, went 2 of 8 in her last game, but getting her feet back, coming back from injury. Um, she'll play a bit more in this game. Um, New York won by 8 earlier this year, so Chicago has that little bit of revenge. I think Ionescu will ball out the next game, but not this game. She's still getting her feet wet. Small lean on Chicago, nothing big there. Chicago is playing really well, has a little bit of revenge. The models kind of favor them. Washington, Seattle. I like Washington. Washington, 6 and 6. Seattle's 12 and 12. Washington has won 4 of 5 of late, and Tina Charles went 13 for 30 in her last game. They rely on her a little too much, but Washington had an impressive win against Minnesota and Atlanta in the stretch. Seattle didn't lay, um, didn't play great against Indiana last game, which kind of worries me a little bit. If they didn't play great against them, they could bounce back. Washington will have a good effort here. I think they get up for Seattle. Um, I think they're feisty. They might lose by 8-10 to 10 is my guess um, as well. As far as the NBA is concerned, you know that five-unit selection is on the side between L.A. and Phoenix, but I talked to you about this in yesterday's video. I do lean on the under. Phoenix, I think, given up over 110 points in back-to-back games. Um, and L.A. understands that they have to play a decent amount of defense here. And I think they come back down to earth as well, shooting-wise, without Kawhi. Small lean on the under there. That is your video today. If you want the consensus on what side the public is on, hop on over to our Twitter to grab that. We post that every single day. And, of course, we'll have a, a video on Saturday for the Guess the Score contest, which is on our Twitter as well. So we'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy working hard for you every single day. Please take a moment to like and subscribe.